Well, hello, boys and girls. It's Pal Pearls of Wisdom from Be Pal Picks and Steel Flyers, www.steelflyers.com, all sports network. Going to be start doing a live show two hours a day, five days a week for that little number there. Highly recommend you go check it out. You got some fine talent there. John from Off the Wall Hockey, Peyton on the radio. Professor Joe, Professor Joe Borg, yes. And uh, we have surprise guests that are coming on all the time as well. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So, Jim Jackson, voice of the Flyers, he makes an appearance. He enjoys our programming. Uh, that's so. Uh, anyways, I got picks, picks, picks. I'm going to give you some picks here. I wanted to let you know how I did the last two days, though, since I said you would do. I'm working, well, let's just look at it, shall we? And this may be, you may want to go over to the Patreon there and uh, get the app and go look up BPAL Picks and uh, sign yourself up because this is what I did for the last couple of days. Capitals, ML, and over. Nailed it. Beat the Buffalo Sabres 8-6. to six. Sharks over Yotes and the under. Uh, this game's still going on right now with three minutes left. San Jose is up 3-1. And it's, uh, so that obviously is both of those under for five and a half. Canucks over Oilers and over five and a half. So that was not for the first game. That was for the second game. I thought the Canucks were going to play Smith. Turns out, and I even brought this up. In, uh, I, uh, when I was on Peyton on the radios live, I said, what do you, I think they're likely going to do cost should do Koskin in both games. Sure enough. Last second they did. If they would have, if I would have known that I probably wouldn't have played it, but I did get the Canucks wrong on that one. Uh, we did get the over though, over five and a half Bruins versus devils under five and a half. Sure enough. It was three, two. Uh, the uh, Boston Bruins won 3-2 in overtime. Rangers versus Islanders under 5.5 for big pearls. Putting big pearls on that one. Because you give the Islanders 5.5, you put big pearls on that. Because the Islanders don't allow, uh, don't play too many games where they, there's a, over 5.5 score. Uh, so I went on that and they won 4 nothing. You got the under on that against the Rangers. Uh I had a parlay, Flyers, Canes, and Lightning paid four times your money, came in. Uh, what do we got? Do I, we're, I'm missing one here. I, Blue Jackets versus Predators under, got it, 3-1. However, I had a big parlay of Tampa Bay minus one and a half uh, against Chicago, Carolina minus one and a half. By the way, I sweat that one out. Jeez. Couldn't score until the very end of the third period, and they got it. But then I had Columbus to beat the Preds. Broke that parlay. So one for one on parlays. Uh, Colorado versus Blues over. Had that one incorrect. Uh, Bennington played fantastic. And Canes versus Wings minus one and a half. Also had Philadelphia over the Penguins. Uh, ML and the under, though, and that one was over. So you see we're sitting at about 90% on our picks so far this year. I usually run at about 80% on our picks. So I got some more picks for you coming up here right now. Y'all excited? I got all your letters. I got all your letters. Uh, Hernandez went down there to the mailroom, and he comes up, and we read your letters. And all your letters of excitement that hockey season has started and here we are. My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace going to you when you subscribe right now. Starting with our game of the 15th of January. Five games on tap. Washington versus Buffalo. Now, Vitek Vanacek is likely going to be in the net for Washington unless they play Samsona back-to-back. -back. Since they're playing a weak defense Buffalo team, I doubt they're going to do that. They're going to give Vanacek a, check a shot here. I am not giving the line to my clients here um, because of that. 
Benichek had a pretty good AHL career so far. Um, quite often, rook, older rookies, like he's 25 when they come in, they'll just go lights out. Just like the world has just come to an end and I get my chance. And they don't feel any stress at all. It's just freedom, especially in his situation where there's nobody to take his place right now, really. So it's possible that he just goes lights out and uh, Washington wins this. Buffalo is only getting 177 because of this. Uh, let me go over here. You can see this in the screen, but I should go to the actual off. Yeah, here we go. Uh, so Washington get in 206 with Banachek is kind of hard not to ignore, isn't it? That's pretty good juice for Washington and Buffalo. Uh, I can't tell you, give you a total here because I do have, I'm, I'm putting a total in for my patrons. Uh, Washington won yesterday. Buffalo, they won 8-6. I'm going to say Buffalo. But like I said, well, you want to bet that at 177, that's up to you. Pittsburgh, Philadelphia. I have a play on the line here. I can't tell you about that. Uh, I, got, I gave it to my patrons. So I will go on the total. It just seems, and I don't know why I had an under the last time. It just seems like Philadelphia and Pittsburgh go over all the time. I probably lean the over six here. Might be the best bet I'm giving you here. Over six uh, at 1.87. Maybe you want to take the extra juice and go six and a half, but that's a little rich. Over at 187. Tampa Bay, Chicago. I have a play on the line here. Go ahead and play Tampa Bay M ML. I, I mean, I'll give you that one. Go ahead and play it. It's only playing 137. Put it in a parlay or whatever. Uh, Chicago is playing Dalia. This. Um, so here's the question is, what am I going to do with this total? Is Chicago going to score enough? Because uh, uh, they should be playing. Um, why do I just completely forget Tampa Bay's goaltender's name? Crazy. Uh, Vasilevsky. They should be playing Vasilevsky. I'm going to say, I may give this to my patrons. I, I'm going to have to meditate and a little bit on this one, do a little own. I like to do that sort of thing. Uh, but I'm going to say, go go with the under on that one. Now the next game, I haven't given anything to my patrons here, and I probably won't. I want to see this Ottawa team play before I put a play on it. Um, I think you got to go with Toronto, but especially when they're only giving you 197 for Ottawa on this, what are you getting on the spread? Ottawa plus one and a half, possibly. Uh, I would consider that. I don't like this play at all. I could definitely see the over here. Murray's going to be in net. Murray was shaky in Pittsburgh. How is he going to be with his new team? I'm probably leaning the over even at six and a half. Uh, so there's a pick there. I'm not probably not giving that to my patrons, but I'm probably leaning the over even at six and a half there. St. Louis, Colorado. Now, I this is one of the ones I've lost. I took Colorado last time. Uh, Bennington played very well. I'm wondering if Col I want to see if Colorado rolls with Francis this time instead of Gru Grubauer. I don't know why I went with Colorado when I'm really never been. I'm not a fan of Grubauer. They just such had such a high power offense that I went with it. Um, I actually know what I got wrong on that was the line, wasn't I? I said it was going to be over five and a half. St. Louis was playing phenomenal defense. But give Colorado a second chance at it. And I could see this being over, but I'm not giving it to my patrons. Um, St. Louis will be playing Bennington, probably Francois. Oh, man. The way St. Louis was playing defense that last game, I'll probably go under five and a half. And I like Colorado at 206, not losing two games in a row. Um, but I'm not bullish on it. But I'm giving it to you. Colorado, 206. 
go check out my past videos. It'll show you all the picks that I gave you. Also hit on a lot of those. These were all my patrons picks. And this is what happens all year round. We crush it. We crush it. For $5, $20 or $25, whatever suits your fancy, a $25 one gets you the parlays. Last year, I was running 65% on parlays, which is huge. That's You're making big money at 65% on parlays. I was running 80% on picks. You're going to make money. I would do it if I were you. I'd also go over to steelflyers.com and go check out Peyton on the radio, uh, uh, the GOAT, uh, John, from Off the Wall Hockey, and J.J. Boric at Sports Fanatic News. My friends, this has been a blast. Why don't you tell me your picks down there in the bottom? Let's connect. Let's talk to each other. I want to connect. And again, if you subscribe, I'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace. Here's some regular pearls for you. These are uh, fine pearls for your, fine pearls for your uh, fair life. Fair life? Whatever. There you go. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to ya.